Hello friends, this video on our environment part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. And what is the other conclusion from this discussion? That is called biological magnification. So you might be wondering what is this new term now? So let us see what it is. It is nothing but progressive accumulation of chemicals at each trophic level. So here we saw that since the food which any of the living organisms existing on this earth eat is some is in some or the other way related to one another right whatever we eat either comes directly from plants or from any of the animals which directly or indirectly feed on plants right so things are related so our food are all related now in these food sometimes harmful chemicals can also enter harmful poisonous things can also enter the food chain so now the question is how can these things enter for example let me give you an example let us suppose there are many pesticides and insecticides which we use in the fields for improvement in crop yield right now these chemicals where do they go they remain in the soil or they these chemicals get washed away with water so they remain either in water or in soil. So from that soil, they can very easily enter into the plants. Now once they entered the plant, something which has entered plants have actually entered the food chain because plants are the producers. So all living organisms depend on plants directly or indirectly. So something which has entered into plants means it has entered into the food chain. Now it is seen that these harmful chemicals if it enters into the food chain when it passes from one organism to another as it goes higher in the tropic levels the amount of chemicals or the concentration of chemical keep increasing. Like we have seen that as the tropic levels increases the amount of energy transfer decreases. So in a similar fashion here in this case the amount of harmful chemicals keep increasing. Why? Because chemicals are something which are not degradable. That means there is nothing that can break down chemicals into simpler form which can be absorbed by an organism. Right? So it remains unabsorbed. And that is why it keeps accumulating. So the higher the tropic level, the greater is the concentration of chemicals. Even though the amount of energy flow decreases, but the concentration of chemicals increases. Let us look at an example. You would have seen that in the soil, as I said, in the soil you will find many harmful pesticides, insecticides or chemicals. You would have heard of DDT. Right? So this DDT is a chemical which is generally found in the soil. Because this is also used for the purpose of crop improvement and increase in soil fertility and all those stuff. So now suppose if this, this is the soil and you have DDT present here. Now here you see in the soil you generally see earthworms. Earthworms are very common in soil. So here also you can see this earthworm. So now this earthworm feeds on this soil. So what happens that DDT enters into the earthworm. Now let us suppose that the concentration of DDT in the soil was very less. It was not that too much heavy amounts of DDT was present. It was maybe very less amount of DDT was present. Say for example the amount of DDT present in the soil was 10 ppm. What is ppm? It is particle per million. That means for 1 million particles of soil only one particle of DDT. Only 10 particles of DDT was present. That is called particle per million. So that means 10 particles of DDT was present in 1 million particles of soil. So it is a very low concentration. Now when this soil is fed upon by the earthworm what happens it was seen that the concentration of DDT inside the earthworm was around 85 ppm so it increased now the question is how because DDT is something which doesn't get degraded it cannot be decomposed into simpler forms which can be absorbed by the earthworm so it, it, is, it doesn't get broken down into simpler form so it will remain as it is now when the earthworm feeds on the soil it will feed good quantity of soil and that good quantity of soil will have a lot of DDT. So the concentration of DDT inside the body of the earthworm will increase. Now this earthworm in turn will be eaten by some bird. So when this bird eats up this earthworm, it is seen that the concentration of DDT inside the body of this bird 
reaches to around 250 ppm because this bird is not going to eat just one earthworm because I told you the concentration as 85 ppm in one earthworm but the bird is going to eat maybe some 10 or 20 earthworms so it is going to eat many earthworms therefore the concentration of DDT is going to multiply inside the body of the bird now when we started so here what is my food chain so if you look at the food chain here in the soil it was very less then it was the earthworm and then it was the bird and the concentration earlier was 10 which was which is considered to be very less and which is not lethal it will it will not kill a person but when it then it reached 85 even that was okay but when it reached 250 it became lethal for the bird and the bird dies so that means if you have a food chain with too many trophic levels then there are two advan these advantages one is that if by chance any harmful chemical or acid enters the food chain its effects will be worse at the higher levels so if you have more number of levels the effect is going to be worse at the higher levels and the second is advantage is that as the number of levels increases as you go higher in the trophic level the amount of energy that is actually getting transferred to that level becomes very less so there is very less energy available for the higher levels so because of such reasons we generally see food chains consisting of three to four levels only now in a similar fashion we also observe so this phenomenon is known as biological magnification Magnific magnification the word magnify means to amplify to increase so that is why this is defined as progressive accumulation of chemicals at each tropic level that means with each tropic level the accumulation increases that is why it is a progressive accumulation so we also see biological magnification in the grains pulses vegetables which we eat so which whichever things we eat these days for everything they will put insecticides right so it you, you would have generally seen that your parents would advise you to wash fruits before you eat wash vegetables before you cook them so why do we want things to be washed why do we want these vegetables to be boiled and cooked properly so that we can get rid of the maximum amount of the undesirable things which are present in those objects however these means also can't remove them completely sometimes they still have some amount of pesticide or some amount of undesirable substances so we consume food just like that so now the concentration of those uh, harmful substances as we consume them like for example grains when i talk about grains or pulses when you prepare pulse is it just one grain of a pulse we you prepare or you consume no right you just take one bowl full of the pulses so you have so many pulses there right so when the food actually goes inside our body the concentration of those pesticides or those harmful chemicals also increase that is why it is always advisable to wash boil and cook things properly before we eat so this was all about biological magnification. I think with this I have uh, completed my discussion on food chains. So what did we cover so far? We spoke, we have talked about ecosystem. We have talked about the biotic components of ecosystem and the non-biotic and the abiotic components. We have further talked about the biotic components wherein we talked about the different types of biotic components, producers, consumers and decomposers and the food chain. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.